Hey people, it's Larry again. <clears throat> Got a little sidetracked here in the past couple weeks. I haven't put it up any new videos. Uh, this has been my project <clears throat> that sidetracked me. I'm taking all my fish out of my uh, IBC tank in the garage where my greenhouse area is, whatever, and I'm digging a thousand gallon pond. And... <laughs> One guy, one mantis rototiller, and two shovels. And this is taking a while. I have to stop today because we suddenly had a burst of rain in the past couple days. So I'm stuck dead. <laughs> dead in the water, as they would say. So that's what's been sidetracking me. <clears throat> Let me close this. Go back in here. <clears throat> I was going to show some people how effective this filtration system is. Um, I had Rob Bob ask me how many solids were actually in the bottom of my <clears throat> IBC tank. If I stop my air <clears throat> and try to get a shot down in there Notice you can see all the way to the bottom. And if you look at the side of that stand pipe, that's a placo or a placostomus fish. There's three of them in there. There's another one over there. And that's what eats all this algae that builds up on the side. I'm not concerned with algae. But that's why... <laughs> That's why they're in there. But I'll show you something over here real quick. There's the bottom of the solids or the swirl filter. You can see all my fish solids have ended up there. My small particles filter is starting to fill up here. And that's what that uh, Puro Clean filter media works like a charm. <laughs> Especially if you throw a whole bunch of red wiggler composter worms in there. Great stuff. But I just thought I would post this really quick to show that, yes, this simple little filtration system works. A swirl filter made out of a five gallon bucket, a flower pot with that in there, and you have pretty much next to no solids on the bottom of that tank. There's another Placo down there. Look at the size of that sucker. Literally sucker. Anywho, just thought I would show that. You can see the size of the trout in there. A few of those turned into dinner. That's why the numbers are low. <laughs> They're reducing. And that's why. They're pretty damn tasty little fish. So, anywho, this iPhone, the battery's dying, so I'm going to cut off this video here. Got another one to post later. I'm going to explain something here. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one G tower and one B tower to people who have existing aquaponic systems who want to compare them side by side performance wise and post a video showing the performance of the two different tower types side by side and for your help in that I'm going to send you three more G towers so in the end you will have four G towers and one B tower that you can do whatever you want with I figured I'd give them away rather than just throw the things away because I've been harvesting the crap out of things over there. <laughs> harvesting and replanting like crazy. Lots of bok choy, I'm telling you. System out here is working wonderfully. Anywho, more more information on that later. I got a whole bunch of lights to replace. All these LEDs up here. I got five brand new matching ones from LightingEver.com. So that's my project for the, the day today. 
Take it easy, people. See you next time around. Bye.